Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another Rossi out on the bench today. This is one of the RS-22. This is their semi-auto 22 LR rifles. This one sports a 10-round detachable magazine, 18-inch barrel. It does have fiber optic iron sights with it. Now, granted, I did remove the rear fiber optic sight so I could mount this scope for accuracy testing, but it's easily installed and removed. Just two screws here on the rear side of the barrel. No big issue there. Um, 11 millimeter dovetail rings. That's kind of a bummer, but for this type of rifle, that's usually what you get. Cross bolt safety here on the uh, trigger guard. Now, if you're looking at this rifle and you're thinking, man, that looks um, really similar to my Mossberg Plinkster 702, and you would be correct. This rifle is manufactured by CBC, same as the Mossberg Plinkster. Now, I will say that this particular model is a little bit different in that the stock itself is different. Otherwise, it does feel pretty much the same. Now, this rifle here runs, oh, about 100 and. 19 to 130 ish dollars just depending on where you get it which is a, a great great value but what i want to do is see what kind of reliability we can get out of this now i have reviewed the mossberg 702 and it is still going strong and it has functioned perfectly so i want to see if this right here will hold true so any type of um mossberg 702 accessories from my understanding will work with this so you can use the 25 round uh 715 magazines um had kind of mixed results with those so kind of use at your own discretion but it's something to think about but it is a great feeling little rifle i will say i do love the stock i mean yes it's polymer but it has a really good feel to it especially here on the forend and on the cheek it does have a nice little raised piece here if you do decide to run a uh, a scoped optic now it does have uh, sling swivel studs so that's that's good for you guys that want to take and tote these around in the woods. But uh, let's get a, uh, a weight on this. I think that's going to be very indicative of being able to carry something like this. Because, I mean, it is it is light, guys. It is super, super light. Um, now, granted, this is mine. Sample size of one. It does include the optic. But we're at 4 pounds, 12 ounces. So that's that's not bad. Now, let's check clear here. Okay, no rounds in the chamber. Let's go ahead and get a pull weight on this. So I'm anxious to see what kind of result we get. This here does have a take up in it like this, and then you hit a wall, and then you start to <laughs> initiate the trigger break. Um, it is by no means a match trigger, but it does function well, so. And that's roughly five pounds. Now, if you see what I was talking about, so you get to that break point here, and then you push it a little more, and then it finally breaks. Not the end of the world. Um, I mean, this is a price point little gun. This would be great for a first time shooter. Son or daughter, a Christmas present would be absolutely perfect. A little truck gun, throw behind the bed of your tr or seat of your truck, maybe in your side by side to kind of check fence rows or something. It would be absolutely ideal. Now, um, what I got planned is we're going to do some informal accuracy and precision testing, and we're going to do some reliability testing. So let's get this gun over to the uh, over to the range, and uh, let's put some rounds through it. All right, guys, we got the rifle back over here on the three-gun range. We're at about 45 to 50-ish yards. What I want to do here is I've got 10 different 22 lr loadings, and we're going to try 10 rounds of each of those and just check the reliability of our Rossi RS-22 here. So the first one up is going to be the 40-grain Federal Target Auto Match. Uh, this stuff is a 40-grain round nose, 1,200 feet per second. So we'll try 10 of these. Again, it's almost 50 yards, and uh, see what uh, what we got here. All right. It did run. It did not lock the bolt back. I don't know if that's really a big deal to you, but it was completely reliable. So I'm going to pause the camera and load up the next magazine. I'm not going to subject you guys to that, but uh, we'll get going here. All right, so next up, we've got 10 rounds of our Winchester Expert HV. Now, this is a 36-grain hollow point moving at 1,280 feet per second. 
So we'll try 10 of these and see what happens with it. Oh, we had a failure to feed on that. Okay, and we got the bolt locked back, so not too bad. One little malfunction with the Winchester Expert H. All right, so now we got 10 rounds of our Red Box Federal Bulk. This is 36 grain uh, copper plated hollow point. Uh, this stuff's moving advertised velocity of 1260 feet per second at the muzzle. So let's see what this will do. All right, bolt lock back, ate all of those. All right, now we got 10 rounds of this 38 grain uh, lead round nose from CCI Blazer. This one's advertised at 1,235 feet per second. Ate them all. All right, so now we got 10 rounds of our 40 grain round nose Remington Thunderbolt. This is an advertised velocity of 1,255 feet per second. I think this right here is probably going to be the test. If it will cycle these, I think we'll be good to go. Sure enough, didn't miss a beat. All right, next up is going to be the Winchester M22. This is 40 grain uh, round nose. Uh, move it at an advertised velocity of 1,255 feet per second. So let's try 10 of these. Eight of All right, now I've got 10 rounds of the Federal Premium Hunter match. This is a 40 grain match hollow point moving at an advertised velocity of 1,200 feet per second. So we'll try some of these here. Eight those two. All right, now we got 10 rounds of the CCI mini mags. This is a 36 grain copper plated hollow point, advertised velocity of 1260 feet per second. So this is a very popular load. For a lot of different guys for a lot of reasons target shooting and varmint dispatching didn't expect any issue all right so now we got 10 rounds of the cci stinger this is 32 grain uh, copper plated hollow point moving at an advertised velocity of 1640. so this stuff is cooking so let's see what we got ate them all all right guys now lastly we got 10 rounds of our cci standard this is a 40 grain lead round nose uh advertised velocity of 1070. i think this might be an interesting indicator on reliability of this gun just due to the lower feet per second or lower velocity rating these are blowback guns so Kind of interested to see if that will introduce any failures. None at all. Ate them all. All right, so out of our 10 loads that we shot here at about 50-ish yards with the Rossi RS-22, we did have a bit of a bobble with the Winchester XP. Um... It could have just been a light loading and not cycled the action all the way. It just didn't strip a round out of the magazine. Other than that, it ran 99 rounds, 100% flawless. So let's get this over to the rifle range, and we'll do a little bit of precision accuracy testing informally just to kind of see. All right, guys, so we're over here on the bench. We've got a target set up at 50 yards. You guys can follow along on the target cam. I've got five just random loads uh, more common things that you'll see a couple of bulk loads 
few hunters that like to go out and, and also those plinkers that just like to go out and pop pop cans. But uh, we've got uh, the CCI standard, Federal Red Box, some Federal uh, Gold Medal Target, CCI Mini Mags, and everyone's favorite uh, 22 round to love to hate, the uh, Remington Thunderbolt. So I've got 10 of the CCI standard loaded up here. So we're going to see what kind of precision we can get out of out of this at 50 yards. not actually too bad CCI standard does tend to shoot a little better than most most 22 loads now granted this is definitely informal everybody touts uh, seasoning your barrel before shooting for accuracy or precision but I think for the normal guy that's gonna buy one of these rifles they're not really going to care about that to begin with they're just gonna grab a box of whatever that they get close to them and that's what they're gonna probably put through it through the day so think this may be even a more accurate representation of what you're likely to have happen with your rifle. So here is going to be 10 rounds of the Federal Red Box Bulk 36 grain hollow point. So I guess not terribly horrible. Now let's try 10 of these Federal Premium. This is a 40 grain solid. Moving at a close velocity about to that of the CCI standard. So it would be kind of interesting to see what uh, these guys do as well. So 10 of these. I do apologize for the time loading but I only have the one magazine so we're kind of at the mercy of what we got all right oh we got a failure okay that's a failure to eject And again, that was on a lower velocity rated load. All right, that's all of that one. Just by looking through the scope, it looked like it shot that pretty well. Even with that one, we did have that one bobble. Uh, let's try 10 of our 36 grain hollow point uh, CCI mini mags. So these are also a real popular hunting load, especially in the 36 grain um, hollow point for uh, varmint hunters. 
So let's try 10 of these and see what we got. Took care of all those. All right, now finally, let's try some of the Remington Thunderbolt. Again, this is a 40 grain round nose. This is probably one of the most inconsistent <laughs> loaded bulk ammos for 22 LR, probably out. Um, I've shot a lot of these over the years. They do work, but they are most definitely not the most accurate or reliable of ammunitions, especially in semi-autos, that I personally have found. Your mileage, of course, may vary, but if they go bang, that's all we care about. So Hopefully they go bang in the right direction. It ate them all, definitely reliably. Uh, let's go down. I'm going to get a close-up of the target, and we'll get some final thoughts, guys. All right, so the rifle did fine. We had two malfunctions. Now, uh, full disclosure, whenever I took it out of the box, I did go ahead and oil the bolt. Um, I put a little bit of rim oil on there and cycled it back and forth probably 30 or 40 times. And... I put, oh, about 25 rounds, I guess, through it, getting it sighted in and just functioning, checking the gun before we started videoing. And with that rounds, the 100 rounds we shot, and then that, we've got almost 200 rounds to the rifle, and then we've got two bobbles. And I would honestly equate those to ammunition. I don't know if it was the fault of the gun, but let's see what we got here. So... Wow, look at that. Okay, that right there is our CCI standard. Okay, that's pretty good there. Here is our Federal Red Box Bulk. That's not bad at all either. Then we've got that Hunter Matt, or no, that's the uh, that's the Federal uh, Gold Medal Target. I mean, it shot that amazingly well. That's rather impressive. Um, here is the CCI Mini Mag. Not too bad. And then there is the Remington Thunderbolt. So, honestly, that's pretty darn respectable out of that ammunition. Um, I know that that's really representative of what I normally see with that ammunition. You'll shoot maybe three or four in the same hole, and then you'll get one like two or three inches off to the side or up high or down low. I don't know. It's just the way that ammunition's loaded. But overall, guys, that is a neat little rifle. Like I said, I've seen them from about... Oh, about 119 bucks up to about 130. That scope, I think it ran me like 25 bucks. So for about 150 dollars, you can have a nice little, nice little 22 plinker, man, and it's reliable and shoots relatively accurate as and precise as we've shown here. So I'd say it's a total win. It's a definite recommend if you see one of these and you're in the market for a little 22 just to plink around with in the times that we are in snapshot and time i know uh, center fire ammo is hard to come by right now so if you can pick up a bulk pack of 22 and still get yourself on the range and get some trigger time in it's definitely worth looking into this little rifle but if you got any questions feel free to post them up like and subscribe guys it really does help the channel out and as always 
Shoot straight.